Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel my d1 d2 scientific academy today our lecture is related to chapter 9 which is geometrical transformation and I'm going to explain you exercise 9b question number 5 students your book is d2 math and sm2 students if you want to get more help regarding your subject then you can subscribe my channel okay so let's start question 5 the question 5 is the coordinates of triangle a b c are 4 1 a is 4 1 b is 6 1 and C is 4, 6. While the coordinates of its image uh, of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime under rotation are A prime is 0 minus 1, B prime is minus 2 minus 1 and C prime is 0 minus 6. On a sheet of graph paper, draw triangle A, B, C and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Find the center of rotation by construction and state the angle of rotation. So in this question, they have given uh, the, here you can see that the points of uh, the original triangle, but they have also given the points of the rotated triangle. You're not supposed to draw, you're not supposed to rotate the figure. Okay, here the rotation is also given, the coordinates, the points of rotation is also given. What you need to find out, first you have to draw both triangles, the original and the rotated triangle, and then you have to find out the center of rotation by construction construction mean we have to construct we i will okay so in this part i will explain you that how do you construct uh, to find out the center of rotation you also have to find out this uh, you also have to write down the angle of rotation so let's start this question it's question number five Okay, so first I'm going to draw the triangle. Okay, the triangle ABC, the coordinates are the coordinate of the coordinates of A is 4, 1, B is 6, 1, and C is 4, 6. And they have also told you the rotated triangle which is A prime, B prime and C prime. So the coordinates of A prime are 0 minus 1. The coordinates of B prime are minus 2 minus 1. And the coordinates of C prime are 0 minus 6. Okay, on a sheet of graph paper, you have to draw both triangles. So first you will draw the x coordinate, okay, x axis and the y axis. Okay, here you can see that the coordinates are till minus 2, okay. So and the positive coordinates are till 6. So I will draw accordingly. So suppose here I'm taking the scale 2 centimeter, 2 units on both axes. It means that, okay, a complete box is equal to 2 centimeter. If you're having a graph paper of small boxes, then one small box is equal to 1 centimeter and two boxes are equal to 2 centimeter. But here I'm having a graph paper of big boxes. So one complete box is equal to 2 centimeter. 2 centimeter, 2 units means we will give the gap of two numbers and you have to leave a complete box. So let's start it. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, minus 2, minus 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, minus 2, minus 4. So first I'm going to draw this triangle, 4, 1. So this is 4 and 1 will be in the mid of 0 and 2. So it will be here, here. So 4 and 1 will be equal to 4 and 1 will be equal to here. This is your A and B is 6, 1. 6 is here and 1 is again here. This is your B and C is 4, 6. So 4 is here 
and 6 is here. So this is your C. So here I'm going to draw this figure which will be our right angle triangle. So this is your original triangle. Now the coordinates of the rotated triangle are also given. So I'm going to plot those points also to get the rotated image. Okay, so these are the points of the rotated image. A prime is 0 minus 1. So 0 is here, minus 1 is here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the point. So this is your A prime, 0 and minus 1. Y is minus 1. Now B prime is minus 2 minus 1. So minus 2 is here and minus 1 is here. So this is your B prime, minus 2 and minus 1. Minus 1 will be in the mid of 0 and minus 2. No? So this is B prime. And C prime is 0 and minus 6. So 6 will be here, here. So 0 and minus 6 is x is 0 and y is minus 6. So this is your C prime. So your triangle will be like this. Okay, a straight line like this and then this point. Achaji. So this was A prime, this is B prime and this is C prime. Now students in the question they have asked, okay, you this is a triangle, okay? This is a triangle. I can dark it. Okay, so this is the original image and this is the rotated image. So I'm going to take any two points. You have to take any two points and you have to draw the perpendicular bisector, okay, by just drawing the arcs. So I'm going to take A, B and A prime, B prime. Any two po corresponding points of both triangles, of the original triangle and of the uh, rotated uh, triangle. So first I'm going to take A point. This is A and this is A. Okay, so you have to open the arc. Okay, you have to, you have to take the compass and you have to open it uh, more than the half, uh, more than the distance, which is uh, more than the half of this distance. Okay, from A to A prime. Okay, so I have to open the dist. Uh, I have to open the arc more than the half of the distance. Okay, more than the half of the distance means, for example, if it is five. Okay, here you can see that you can measure the distance from zero to six. It's 6 cm from, from A to A prime is A to A prime is 6 cm. So you have to open the compass more than the half of the distance. So the half is 3 now so you can open it till 4. Okay, like this. It's your choice. Okay, now you have to just open it and you have to draw the arc. First you will put it on A and you will draw the arc like this. And then you will put it on A prime and you will draw the arc again like this okay so this is how you have to draw the arcs by just putting the compass on a and a prime now you can take any other point so i'm going to take the b prime and the corresponding point is b prime now the distance from b to b prime is here you can see that it's uh, 10.5 okay so the distance i can take six centimeter so this half distance is 5.2 something like that so the you have to open the compass more than the half of the distance so i'm just opening it till six okay always remember that whenever you find out whenever you want to find out the center of rotation so you have to take any two corresponding points of the original triangle and of the uh, rotated triangle and then you have to draw you basically you have to you need to draw the perpendicular bisector now for that uh, you need to draw the arcs to get the perpendicular bisector okay so this is the method you need to do and now i'm just putting it on b and i'm going to draw the arc here Okay, and now I'm going to put on B, on this B, on B prime, and I'm going to draw the arc here. Okay, so this is the point and this is the point, okay? So I'm going to draw the perpendicular. 
Okay, so now uh, you will join these two lines, okay, these two points and you can see that this is the point and this is also the point. Now you have to join these two points to get the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so this is the perpendicular bisector. So you know that whenever we are having a straight line, so a line, okay, a straight line like this, which makes an angle of 90 degree, that is the perpendicular bisector of this line. We have drawn the perpendicular bisector, but now we have to draw this line uh, to get the coordinates of the center. Okay, this lines mean that's two straight lines, so it means that they are from A to A prime and B to B prime because we have chosen two sets, we have chosen, chosen two points, a set of numbers A and A prime and B and B prime. So now you, I'm going to draw this line. I have drawn this perpendicular bisector by just drawing the arcs. Now I'm going to draw this line. It means that this is the line which is joining A and A prime and B and B prime. So now I'm going to draw this. So this is the line A and A prime and I'm also going to draw the B and B point. Okay, G. so here you can see that this is the point, okay, these both are the lines, okay, the straight lines and this is the point where this perpendicular bisector is making an angle of 90 degrees. So it means that students, this is your center of rotation, okay. So center of rotation is here axis 2 and y is 0. So your center of rotation is 2, 0. So your center of rotation is... 2, 0. Okay, so remember that first you have to draw the perpendicular bisector by taking two sets of points A and A prime, B and B prime. You can also choose B, B prime or C, C prime. Okay, you will get the same answer. Okay, you just choose two sets of points and after drawing the perpendicular bisector, you know that perpendicular bisector is always on the straight line. So what is straight line? It is uh, the, basically the straight lines of A, A prime and B and B prime. You have to join A, A prime and B and B prime. And here this is the perpendicular bisector. So these two points and this perpendicular bisector is intersecting at this point which is your center of rotation 20. Okay in B part they have also asked you to find out the angle of rotation. Angle of rotation is very easy. As you can see that when it will move to this quadrant when it will rotate like this it is 90 degree. Okay when it will rotate to this side it means that it is 180 degree. Each quadrant is equal to 90 degree. Okay so there is a gap of 90 degree when it moves to the next quadrant. From here till here it is 90 Okay, then it will move to here, so it will be 180. So it means that angle is 180. 180 degree. And so remember that whenever your uh, figure is in the third quadrant, so it's always 180. I hope that today's concept is clear to you. Do the practice of this sum because when you do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take a very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.